Well, joining me is Ralph Peake, who's uh, with Treasury and uh, making the news at the moment about benefits and all that sort of thing. But we'll come to that in a moment. I know you're going out to consultation, though, first of all, on another part of what you do. So tell us about that. That's right. The consultation is now open, and this is to get people's reaction to the employed personal allowance tell benefit. Tell us. Okay. Explain all that. Explain. Okay. Employed personal allowance is to encourage people into work, to allow them to do a number of hours of work per week, but still retain some support and encouragement and benefits. So people do part-time work and they can get yes, benefits still? Is that what's exactly happening? That's exactly right, yes. And you want yes. to change that? Well, we, what we want to do is to allow them to do more work, so and to encourage them to do more work so they can then you know, d contribute more to the, the family income and contribute more to society. So at the moment, <clears throat> um, you know, with a child, as they grow older, you get more time as they go to school, as they go to secondary school, and we want to help people do more work as the child gets older. Are you say no, there's no incentive to do that at the minute? They can, people can work up to so many hours and, and then get, get money from the state? Is there's a bit of a cliff edge at the moment, right. you see. So um, we're recognising that and encouraging people to actually do more work to contribute to society. OK, this can be looked at two ways. You, yep. You're giving it a very positive spin. It can yeah, be the absolutely. opposite way, that you're taking benefits away from people. If, it's, if, if you don't do enough work, you're going to take money off them? Is that how it would work? Um, it wouldn't actually take them off uh, them. It's to encourage people to do more work. Carrot, yeah. rather than the stick. Absolutely, carrot, definitely. But why do you have to consult on this then? If it's so obvious in your eyes that this is a great idea, do you need to Well, it's just to see what people think of it. It's to give them the opportunity to look at the proposals we're thinking of and to comment on them. So. But some people do uh, so much work, then they'll sit and watch the telly for the rest of the day or something if they, it, because it's, it's not in their favour to do any more work. You're saying it's going to be beneficial to do more work. Well, we all have that choice, don't we, to actually go to work or to sit at home and, as you say, to watch TV. So there is always, it's always better to go to work because you then earn more money and you have a better income, higher income for the family. So we're trying to encourage people to do that, to receive... You're clobbering people, person. though, are you? The lower end, of the, especially people on the lower end of the market, I'm guessing, that uh, who at the minute don't want to work too much because they know they've got the, the safety net. You're, you're going to pull the safety net away, aren't you? No, the safety net is there and it's going to actually be... But if they don't do any more work, will they still get the same money as they're getting now? There will be an increase to the number of hours that you'll be expected to work as your child gets older. And it's tapering in the, uh, the, the benefits. At the moment, it, it's, it's 16 uh, hours and then there is no other incentive until the, the child goes to secondary school and then you're expected then to do, to do full time employment. Okay. So, so what would you like to great, see? The great thing is, is tapering it in. So, so as the child becomes over six, they're at primary school. Right. Once they're settled in primary school, then they can, people can then do some more work. And then once you get to secondary school, you can do some more work. So there's, there's, an, um, there's the, 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 the parameters, if you like, are six year olds and 11 year olds. For those with youngest children under six, there is no change. Right. So it's going to save you money, is it? Basically, uh, the going to, it's not about saving money. It's about getting people to actually do some more work to improve their income and their lives. This could be seen as, you know, pulling money off people who can't no, at least afford it. No, I, I, it's not mm. about pulling money off people. It's about giving them the incentive to, to do some more. Okay. Consultations open open now. Absolutely, it open until the eleventh of January. Right. And um, go on the consultation website, government website, and you go to the, the consultation page and you look for the proposed changes to employ personal allowance and proposed propose changes to okay. income support for lone parents. Let's talk about the benefit forward situation now yeah. because you've been hitting the headlines on that one. Is it, what did the Treasury pull back last year? Benefits well, fraud? for the first six months of this financial this year, year, that's from, from April to September over £200,000 was, was actually reclaimed. Some people might think that's quite incredible, and the Island Man being so small, and everyone knows everybody, yeah, yeah. that this even goes on to some degree. I mean, mm, we see it in the papers mm. week after week, but it's, mm. it's fairly minor amounts. But there has been a big high-profile case, I think, recently. That, yeah, that, that the, there's eight people have been prosecuted, and two of which have uh, got uh, sentenced uh, to, to prison. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it is working with the public, and that's the great thing. So I can remind people, if they want to actually help... Snitch. If they want to actually help and actually get the money that's needed to the people that do deserve so you, it. You've got an anonymous tip off we've line, got have you? Confidential lines. Contact, we've got a hotline which is 0808 162 4043. And, and that's a free oh, hotline number. Yeah, but you no know one gets confidential. Confidential, that's no one rings you up or anything like that. 
How big the problem then? How I mean, you've got two hundred thousand back. You say that, but you know, are you, are you <clears> assuming <throat> that there's millions out there that could be hauled back in? Yes, millions. It's, it's well, that's incredible. It can't, but it is a big problem, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. And back to what I was saying originally, that because it's such a small place, it's not like Manchester or somewhere people disappear under the radar. Yeah. It's, isn't it? Has something gone wrong? in Treasury slash government that this has happened to such a degree that it's it's not being processed well enough in the first place? No, I don't think anything's gone wrong. It's just that we're, we're able now, with more information looking at costs, you know, in the past perhaps people haven't had to look at costs, whereas now we actually do, and there's a realisation. Well, that's actually. my point. It's almost like, the, you know, we're washed with money, it doesn't matter if people, t now, now times are hard, whoa, let's go and get that money back in. Well, it's not about times are hard but you certainly need to change the culture it's about changing culture it's strong leadership on where the money needs to go okay. so we want to be careful about where we actually get the money coming in and we also need to be careful where it goes out it's so it really is a great opportunity now yeah. you know as, if you like it's all just been forced on us but we want to take that opportunity to actually look at our costs and to run things better it seems that lots of the cases and not all but so many they people go on to benefits and they need it yes then they get work afterwards, but they, they, they don't tell you know, the employment exchange that they, they've come off it. And it almost like just comes part of the, the thing. And become, is this where a lot of the problems is? Yes, and that, that can be a misunderstanding because yeah. as you say there, you, your circumstances change, you need some help, and that's exactly what the welfare uh, system is here for. And that's exactly what Treasury wants to do is to help those people who have fallen on hard times, who have had their circumstances change. But what we want needs to do then is to help them perhaps change their career, do more work, help them fill out the, the, the correct application form, but also to remind them that things you know, do need to be considered on the whole. So if you've got income, if you've got other, uh, income elsewhere, it needs to be considered. So people who perhaps f forget or slips their mind or aren't aware of it are experts are there to help them. But nosy neighbours are it. quite welcome to pick up the phone and... Uh, it's not nosy neighbours, it's, it's... I'm being provocative with you, you on this are, one because... You are, yeah, but you know, but okay. some people see it like that, you know, yeah, like, yeah. oh God, they're asking us now to okay. snitch on my neighbour because... Well, it's about directing the resources we've got into the right area. Yeah. So for instance, it's not just the, the money, but it's the time and effort. Now we've got, um, we've got experts down there who will help people and give them the support they need financially as well as other support. But if we've got people who are diverting time and effort yeah. from our experts, we can't help the so people as much as we can. Someone watching this it. who's thinking, oh, I should have, th 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 now it's gone too late. I is it always too late? I mean, do you, are you sympathetic? Would you, you know, not necessarily prosecute if you can sort it out quietly and easily? But Very yeah. sympathetic, Paul. Right. That's, ex that's exactly right. We're there to help people get the right benefits and support that they deserve. We're also there to help people understand what they're claiming and if they need help to to adjust that we can do that for them so as i say the three ways of doing that i gave out the telephone number government website is the other way there is also an email address as well which is investigation at gov.im and we'd be happy to to speak to them it also is a way of sifting through malicious calls you get some some of that as well so our experts can identify that work through it and really get to the help the people who do need it most